Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going over some information after President Biden has been in office for one year and kind of analyzing how he's doing at this very moment. Actually the graphic popped up perfectly. Is Joe Biden a good president or not? Well, according to the recent polls, one year into his presidency, Joe Biden now sits with his lowest approval rating to date at 40.5% and disapproval rating at 55.3%. Now, that is about a 15-point spread, and it's obvious that's not good for Biden. As you can see, when Biden took office, he took office with an approval rating of the opposite, 55.5, and disapproval rating of 36%. Joe Biden became president uh, really talking about unity and trying to be the president for everyone, the guy to bring Americans together. And throughout the year, we've seen this trend of Joe Biden's approval rating remain pretty, not really consistent. Well, yeah, I guess pretty consistent for the first half of the year or so. And then the second, the summer hit, it really started to go down. This is coinciding with a lot of his foreign policy situations with Afghanistan and such. And then once that happened, Biden's approval rating really started to go down. And it never really did recover. It got really low to 41.8%, and then it started to rebound a little bit towards uh, December, towards the middle of Christmas time, but it's once again going back down. And Biden's at 40.5% with a 55.3% or disapproval rating. This is obviously not good. I do want to show a very important one, which is Biden's job approval on the economy. This is honestly why I think Biden is being hurt so bad right now, is only 39% of the people approve his job in the economy, 56% disapprove. And there are a lot of different issues that are important when it comes to politics, especially national politics. I strongly believe the economy is the strongest one because that's, this, that's the one issue that affects people the most, which is once you start feeling it in your wallet, when gas goes up, food goes up, that's when the president really gets a lot of the blame. Whether or not it is the president's fault doesn't really matter. It's usually the president who gets blamed, whether it's Biden, whether it's Trump, whether it's Obama, whether it's Bush. Whoever the president is, the president and their party gets the blame put on them. Biden only has a 39% approval on the economy, and once again, he has a 40.5% approve in terms of job approval. Pretty similar, only a one-point difference. I think that says a lot right there. And Biden's performance is having a pretty negative attract on the opinion of the country as well. 27% of people believe the direction of the country is on the right track, while 64% believe it's on the wrong track. And this is a very, very big difference considering when Biden took office on January 20th. Let me see if I can get the exact date. If not, that's fine. Uh, January 16th. Here we go. When Biden took office, within the first week, or first month or so of his presidency, he was up near 40% of people thought the country was on the right direction. Now it's down to 27, certainly not good for President Biden. Also very important, this is an election year, the 2022 midterm elections. With Biden's current approval rating, Democrats are not expected to do well. As we can see right now, Republicans have a 44.3% approval and Democrats have 41.2% in terms of the generic vote. This started back in July of 2021. Democrats are at 46. Republicans are at 42. So it is completely flip-flopped with Republicans now poised to do very well in the 2022 midterm elections. And I do want to show for comparison reasons uh, Donald Trump, the former president, what his job approval was at this time. So it gives you some information up here, but I also want to go into the map because I think this is more telling. 2017, Trump takes office. And then we go to 2018, where it was uh, Trump's first year in office. He was about at 40% approval rating. I'm trying to get the exact date. There we go. January 20th. Trump had 40.1 and Biden had 55.2. That sounds very familiar. If you look at Biden's approval rating now, it is almost an exact match to Donald Trump's at the end of one year. Which, seeing as Donald Trump was only a one-term president and... Despite gaining a few seats in the 2018 Senate midterms, President Trump did not win re-election in 2024, and the Republicans lost the House in the 2018 midterm. That is not a good sign for Biden and the Democrats. 
And lastly, I also want to show former President Barack Obama and where he was standing um, throughout his presidency because Biden often tied himself to Obama. Obama took office in 2009, and by 2010, which was the big Republican wave year, President Obama had an approval rating of 49.8% to disapproval 44.5%. And Republicans were still able to win very big in the midterms. And Obama's approval and disapproval rating was actually pretty close. When you're, when you're looking around Election Day, it was only about a five-point difference of Obama being disapproved of. Five points. Biden is down 15. And that is definitely something to worry about. Now, again, I say this, it seems like almost every video now, American politics is very, very volatile. President Biden could have one good week and that 40% approval rating could go up to 47 for all we know. Or President Biden could have one more bad week and that 40 can become 35 like that. So a lot of things can change from now until election day in 22, but with one year in office, Joe Biden is not looking like he is in the best position for the Democrats in 2022, or for that matter, in 2024, unless he can get things back on track. The big thing is he's got to get the economy under control. If prices go down, inflation go down, gas prices go down, then I think you'll see Biden's approval rating go back up. But one year in, certainly not looking all too well for President Joe Biden. That's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.